just another human being oh. Yeah, I don't wanna hurt There's so much in this world to make me believe Stay with me Oh, all I see Did I say that I need you? Did I say that I want you? Or if I didn't, I'm a fool, you see No one knows this more than me Cause I come clean, I wonder every day As I look upon your face, oh, oh. reading from the book of Genesis. They become one body. The Lord God said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helpmate. So from the soil the Lord God fashioned all the wild beasts and all of the birds of heaven. These he brought to the man to see what he would call them. Each one was to bear the name the man would give it. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of heaven and all the wild beasts but no helpmate suitable for man was found for him. So the Lord God made the man fall into a deep sleep. And while he slept, he took one of his ribs and closed it in flesh. The Lord God built the rib he had taken from man into a woman and brought her to the man. The man exclaimed, this at last is bone from my bones and flesh from my flesh. This is to be called woman, for this was taken from man. This is why the man leaves his father and mother and joins himself to his wife, and they become one body. This is the word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The response says, the Lord is compassionate towards all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate towards all his works. Response. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord. Let your faithful ones bless you. The eyes of all look hopefully to you, and you give them their food in due season. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. If I am without love, it will do me no good whatever. 
Be ambitious for the higher gifts, and I'm going to show you a way that is better than any of them. If I have all the eloquence of men or of angels to speak without love, I am simply a gong booming or a symbol clashing. If I have the gift of prophecy, understanding all the mysteries there are and knowing everything, and if I have all the faith in all its fullness to move mountains but without love, then I am nothing at all. If I give away all that I possess, piece by piece, I even, if I even let them take my body to burn it, but I am without love, it will do me no good whatever. Love is always patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. It does not take offence and is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's sins but delights in the truth. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope and to endure whatever comes. Love does not come to an end. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said, From the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Just ask you to be seated for a moment. I have to say I'm a great fan of St. Paul and I'm delighted that the second reading today that Laura chose is St. Paul to the Corinthians. And I'm going to use a little poetic license here today. Any one of us could put our name in that letter. Because Laura is always patient and kind. Sharon is never jealous. Sharon is never boastful or conceited. Laura is never rude or selfish. They don't take offence and they're not resentful. They don't delight in other people's sins, but they delight in the truth. And Laura and Sharon, if you are always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, and to endure whatever comes, your love will not come to an end. Now, if I could ask you all to stand and invite the bridal party to come out, the witnesses, the two bridesmaids and the best men, to come out here and stand beside you. Dear Laura and Sharon, you have come today to pledge your love before God, before the church here present today in the person of myself, your families and friends. In becoming husband and wife, you give yourselves to each other for life. You promise to be true and faithful, to support and cherish each other until death, so that your years together will be the living out in love of the pledge you now make. May your love for each other reflect the enduring love of Christ for his church. As you face the future together, keep in mind that the sacrament of marriage unites you with Christ and brings you through the years the grace and blessing of God our Father. Marriage is from God. He alone can give you the happiness which goes beyond human expectation and which grows deeper through the difficulties and struggles of life. Put your trust in God as you set out together in life. Make your home a centre of Christian family life. For the Christian home makes Christ and his church present in the world of everyday things. May all who enter your home find there the presence of the Lord. For he has said, where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Now, Laura and Sharon, as you are about to exchange your marriage vows, the church wishes to be assured that you appreciate the meaning of what you do. And so I ask you, have you come here of your own free will and choice and without compulsion to marry each other? Yes. Will you love and honour each other in marriage all the days of your life? Are you willing to accept with love the children God may send you and bring them up in accordance with the law of Christ and his church? No. I invite you then to declare before God, everybody here, your consent to become husband and wife.
Matrimony, may God bless Laura and Sherwin with happiness in their lives together. With patience and understanding, may they find strength in times of difficulty and seek comfort in each other. May the Lord help their love to grow and bless their union with laughter and joy. Lord, hear us. We pray for all the friends and family of Laura and Sherwin. Remember especially those who are unable to be here with them today. We pray for all who have supported them and helped bring them to this happy day. May God bless them with his gift of everlasting friendship. Lord, hear us. May all married people here with us be reminded of the joy of their own wedding day. May they give thanks for all the happiness they have known. May each day find them ever more devoted to one another. Lord, hear us. Lord, bless you. We pray for peace. May we learn to understand and truly appreciate our brothers and sisters throughout the world. May God bless the communities within which we live and work. Lord, hear us. Lord, and we pray with confidence to our Father, and the Lord, and our Savior, and our Father, and our
you bless them with children, you give new life to people, can increase and multiply and live the earth. We call to mind the first companionship of Abraham, our father, and me, and his wife, Sarah. We remember how your daddy man brought Rebecca a nice little girl, and how through the lives of Jacob and Rachel, you prepared the way for him. Father, you take the life and the love of God's men and women, that love which hopes and shares. We ask you to bless Laura and Shelley as they set out on their new life. Fill their hearts with your Holy Spirit, the spirit of understanding, joy, fortitude, and peace. Strengthen them to do your will in the trials of life and bear the cross of Christ. May they praise your children brightly, call them in the hands of God. May their children bring them a blessing and give glory to your name. Let their love be strong as death. Fire that floods can and dry, mature beyond all time. May their life together give witness to their faith. May they see long and happy days and be united forever in the kingdom of your joy. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live in you forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Let us stop each other with your hands of friendship and love each other's hands.
Translation for you guys know what's going on. Don't get freaked out. <laughs> Everybody will be taking care of it. Other than the highlights of the wedding, which is uh, Laura and Sherwin, I believe you have seen the uh, wedding spread. Every piece in this spread has a meaning. I mean, there's too many. If I have to explain those to you guys, I have to completely forget about these people. <laughs> but if you have a question, please ask us. So, please give me a couple of minutes. I started in uh, Persian, then I briefly go to the English part of it, and then we will be done. But I don't have power about God, but I thank God as far as the family of the Lord, as many of the family of the Lord, as many of the family of the Lord, من اموی شرمین هستم فرامرز پزشک بود ادوی من رو با پدر شرمین اشتباه گرفتم و اولان بیدوستن شما بردر بزرگتری من هرچی نگاه کردم تو آینه به سرم و به اون هرچی به هر حال I'm honored to be here به عنوان اموی شرمین 
ما هم شب اینجا گرد آمدیم که یک سنت الهی رو که پیوند لورا و شروین هست در حقیقت جشت بگیریم این سنت از جوامع ابتدایی شروع شد به طوری که همه استثار دارید اولین نیروها ازدیاد نست و افزایش نیروی کار و جنگ بود برای آدم هایی که اندیویجولی زندگی میکردن با دشمنان و مسائب طبیعی ولی با پیشرفت جوامع و شدی نهاد خانواده به عنوان یک رکن اصل پیشرفت اجتماعی اقتصادی و فرهنگی در هر جامعه ملحوظ به توجه قرار گرفت و در واقع با شکل گرفتن نهاد خانواده بود که بشریت از حالت خانواده به صورت قبیله و عشیره ای بیران و و خانه شهر در حقیقت خانواده نهادهای شهری و روستایی رو به وجود آورد با تکیه بر این اهمیت که اکثریت قریب اتفاع خانواده ها سعی میکنن که فرزندانشون رو به خونه وقت بفرستن برای اینکه این رشته متشکل و متمرکز خانوادگی متمرکز تر بشه بنابراین این اولین روز این احتمام از طرف خانواده عروس و داماد و ما در حقیقت به طور کوتاه میریم به این سرمونی و دیگه بقیهش با خودتون دیگه خودتون میدین دیگه شهر میدین و خیلی کوتاه معمولا در سه قسمت از عروس خانم سوال خواهیم کرد که آیا حاضرن که شروین رو بپذیرن به همسری یا نه و معمولا دفعه اول و دوم رو خواهند گفت جواب نخواهند و ما به قول معروف با موچین و البته هدایه که در نظر گرفته شده سعی میکنیم بلر از ایشون بگیریم شروین از هفته پیش من گفت بل نو پرابلم ولی از عروس خانم شروع کنیم لارا شما من رو وکیل میکنید که در این مراسم شما رو به عرض و نکاح آقای شروین پزشکور در بیاورم عروس افتگور بچینه عروس افتگور بچینه عروس افتگور بچینه باز کنید عروس خانم تشکر نزش رو بیارم بار دوم عروس خانم به بندن وکالت میدهید شما رو به عقد و نکاح آقای شروین پزشک بود در بیا برم عروس هفته گلاف بیاره ایمان سفتی آقای پدر مادر عروس نمادی کاره میکردید اولا اینجا مشکل ندید خیلی خواهد و آخرین You know how to say badly Okay, خیلی خواهد This is your last chance I mean, you don't have any chance عروس خانم شما بنده رو وکیل میفرمایید شما رو به عقد و نکاح آقای شروین پزشکور در میارم بله 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 Uh, and this is about this ceremony. It's a lot of uh, different Arabic version, I mean, uh, holy version. You didn't want to go to that one upon some special request. But briefly, usually we ask, Shevin told me that the uncle don't ask me. I'm, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> Three times we asked the uh, uh, bride, would you allow me to continue the ceremony on your behalf for the uh, marrying? and sharing. First time and second time, she wouldn't say anything. And usually, someone on her behalf would say, uh, bride is going to bring flowers. <laughs> second time, is going to bring, bride is going to get rose flower. And third time, luckily, she said, bye. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to introduce you, Mr. and Mrs. Sherwin position. <laughs>
With something subtle and a little scene could pay day Your music is a wind whistling through the trees High to low and fast to slow and short to Rattle the leaves, to rattle me Yeah, I want it Maybe a seventh with a few suspensions Sing my sweet Sing my sweet 